Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brett Sop at all, but in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Windows Task Manager that Microsoft has finally decided to give a facelift to. Uh, so it has been exactly the same, or pretty much exactly the same, for the past uh, about 10 years uh, that they have been using the same old Windows Task Manager, but finally they decided to make it more user-friendly, and uh, also there's a few cool features that I'm, I'm about to show you guys. Uh, so when we get on into this, the usual control, I'll delete and select the task manager and this is basically what you will most likely see. Uh, so here are all the applications that I have running on my system uh, and you can see Audacity and uh, some other programs. You'll also see at the bottom that you also have the uh, end task option so if you just do that you can end the task uh, to select your application that is and then click end task. I'm not going to do that right now but uh, that's basically how it works and you can also see that there's this option called or this option more details if you click on that you can see a whole list of things uh, that you weren't able to see in the previous version of Task Manager. Uh, so first off here uh, you can see the total CPU usage and you can also see by uh, the application how much CPU which application is using. Uh, you, so you can see Audacity which I'm currently using to record this is only using roughly about 2% of my CPU. Uh, you can also see that the encoder screen uh, recorder is using about 5% and uh, that's pretty much it. You can also scroll down so over here is applications, here's background processes. This is basically stuff that you don't see, it's just running in the background. Uh, you can also see Windows processes, again stuff you don't see. Uh, you can also see here up the, at the top you have memory and uh, you can see by application again how much memory is being used by each application. Uh, you can also see the disk usage so you can see that um, the read write that is is about 0.1 for the screen recorder and uh, all these other applications as well. You can also see the network activity that's going on for each application uh, which doesn't seem to be having, happening on my uh, any of these applications right now. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this. Uh, you can also sort by status, you can sort by CPU usage and uh, by memory, and all this other cool stuff. So you can have like the most um, demanding or the most um, resource using process or application running uh, at the top. So you can categorize it by that or you can just do like this. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You can also do the end task thing as well. So again, it's pretty cool and uh, looks much nicer. Of course, you can do full screen and you can get a bigger view of that. Uh, so when you go over to the next tab, which is performance, and this is something that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also, see, this is basically like the graph, but it looks much nicer and much um, easier on the eyes to look at. Uh, so you can see all these four cores that I have on my computer. You can see the graph of how much is being used. Uh, now first off, I have to let you guys know uh, you will probably be seeing it in this view if you have a multi-core processor. Uh, the, uh, the way you got the way you are able to see all four cores or any other type of core system they have on your computer. Um, if you want to see all the cores and their utilization, you just right click on the graph and do the change graph to and then choose the logical processes or processors and you can see all the cores. Uh, so that's pretty cool and you, you can also see at the bottom here you can see the utilization, you can see the current speed of your processor, uh, the processes, threads, handles, uptime, and some other cool stuff over here as well. Uh, you can also see the type of processor that I am currently running and you are currently running as well if you're on this um, on this uh, Windows 8 developer preview. And over here on the side you can see like CPU, you can see memory. And so you can see the graph of how much memory is currently being used. So I'm using about 1.1 gigabytes, which is pretty good. It's a great level. And you can see how much I have available, committed, cached, paged pool, and non-paged pool. As well, you can also see hardware reserved. So I currently have about 17 megabytes, which is pretty good. And uh, of course, you can see how much me um, megabytes of or gigabytes of RAM uh, you have on your system up here. And uh, over here you have your disk, so this is basically uh, all the activity that's happening on my disk right now. Activity time, average response time, uh, read speeds, write speeds, and some other cool information as well. And here is the type of hard drive that I'm running. Over here, Ethernet, pretty simple. Again, same as everything else. And uh, I don't know why, but I have two Ethernets. I'm pretty sure that's probably just for like uh, Ethernet through the... Um, uh, I'll, honestly, I have no idea, guys, but I have two. It's probably just a beta bug, but I'm not sure about that. But that's pretty much the performance tab up here. But why don't we move on to app history? Now, this is pretty cool. You can see all the apps that have been running 
on your computer and uh, some other something else is pretty cool about this you can also see the CPU time how much it has the CPU has been having to work for each and every uh, type of application or process uh, so you can see this aircraft the um, the CPU has only had to be used uh, dedicated to the system or this application rather for about 17 seconds and uh, you can also see build has been used for about two minutes uh, Labyrinth you can see uh, I kind of enjoy so I've been using it for about 10 uh, 10 minutes and about 20 seconds and that's uh, pretty much that you can also see how much uh, each application is used in the network so you can see that the socialite application has used nearly 35 megabytes of uh, network activity and uh, you can see the amount of tiles and megabytes so that's pretty cool scroll down here you can also select an application and you can switch to it if you like uh, so again that's pretty cool and uh, that is the app history and we can move on to startup and this is basically Basically everything that starts up when you boot up your Windows 8 device or Windows 8 computer that is and uh, of course you can just select one and you can either enable it or disable it to boot up uh, depending on if you want it to boot up or not uh, so that's the startup you can also see users again um, not again rather but uh, this is pretty straightforward details uh, you can see a whole bunch of geeky stuff over here uh, I wouldn't well, I wouldn't suggest playing around with this unless you know uh, all this stuff you can do, but you can just ba basically click on one of these and you can end a task. Again, don't play around with this because you can end something that's pretty vital to your system. Over here is services, and this is a whole bunch of other geeky stuff that I actually personally have no idea what this is, so I can't really tell you guys too much about it. Uh, but that's basically it for the task manager in Windows 8. I uh, hope you've liked this video. Again, you can always go to the fewer details and you can get back to it like this. Uh, so again, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big ol' likes up. Uh, like up, that is. And uh, comment down below any comments, questions, or suggestions you may have. And subscribe up top for more videos like this, uh, Windows 8, and uh, some iOS type stuff. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day, and peace!